Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what we're going to be teaching you guys today is how to publish and plot in AutoCAD 2026. This will work for earlier versions, so stick around and let's get right into it. Okay, so what is publishing and plotting in AutoCAD? Well, simply it's a way to get your drawing that you see right here from another example that we've done previously on this channel into an actual PDF file or something you can actually print. So there's a few ways you can do this depending on what you need. And I'm going to show you, you know, two of them. So the first thing that you can do is you can come to your layout here. I'm not going to go through creating a title block and everything. You can go check out the other videos on our channel for that. But what you can do is, let's say I want to print this. I have everything locked down where I need it to go. I can right click on my layout and you're going to see there's two options here. There's page setup manager and plot. I recommend you go to the page setup manager first and you'll be able to select a new layout. So what you want to do is you want to select a layout, select the layout you want. You want to click modify and then you're going to be brought to this sheet right here so what we can do here is we can select what printer and plotter we want so you can see i have all these printers and plotters but in this case what i want is i want to print it to a pdf so i'm going to click autocad pdf general documentation um, in other cases you can use high quality print whatever you need i'm just going to do that general documentation for this case so the reason we would do this instead of um, autocad plot to pdf uh, which is somewhere around here is uh, it, it only lets you print in certain sizes of, of sheets and it doesn't let you go bigger. So for instance, uh, here I can select whatever size I need. So let's say um, ArchD, I can select this one and then I can go and I can print it this. So make sure that you're selecting one that doesn't work. If the one you select doesn't work, go to this one. This one has pretty much everything. You can also adjust the properties here, but we don't need to go through that. We're just trying to get things done quick. We can go to our PDF options and what we can do in here is set what our quality needs to be. So make sure you have everything set in here that you what, to what you need it to be. You know, here we have our uh, merge control. So you can either have lines merge or overwrite each other, whatever you need, raster image quality, change that to what you need, vector quality, change it to what you need. I'm gonna keep it base, click okay, and you're good to go. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna see your plot scale. Set that to what your plot scale is. Um, I'm not gonna go over that because it's a lot to touch on, but go set that to what you need it as. And then you can also select your drawing orientation. So portrait landscape, you know, you can even plot it upside down if you really want. And just make sure that you're that everything works properly so it says shaded viewports i'm going to keep that as normal plot style up here you can plot it as different types of um you know scales so you have grayscale monochrome dwf virtual pens acad i'm just going to do acad uh, dot ctb and then you can even go in here and adjust the colors and everything that you want as well so take your time to do that once that's done you can click preview and it'll generate the pdf for you in autocad so this is going to show you what it's going to look like Mine does not look proper simply because I increased the size of my sheet. I have not scaled my viewport. I have not properly scaled my drawing. But if I did, it would encompass this totally. So we're going to click the X on that. We're going to click OK. And you're going to see that my sheet is now set up the way I want it. So what I was saying before, though, is I can go, I can grab my viewport that I have here. I can double click into my drawing and I can go and zoom it to where I want it to go. So one to two. Um, let's see here. Let's go to one ten. You know, pretty much go where you need to go once that's done lock it in and then what we can do here is we can go to our page setup manager again we can uh we can modify it we can preview it and you're going to see it's changed to what i need it to be that looks beautiful excellent we click the x and we're good to go so the next thing that we want to do is i mean you can do this all from plotting but i just wanted to show you how to do that you can right click on your layout again click plot and then what you can do here is you're going to have the same thing show up but what you can do now is you can you can plot it. So I'm going AutoCAD plot to PDF. Everything looks good, making sure it's good. I click OK. And then what I can do now is I can save this as a PDF. Once it's saved as a PDF, I can then go, I can open it up and I can see my drawing. So that's how you would plot in AutoCAD 2026. So another thing you can do though, is if you're trying to plot multiple layouts and multiple drawings at once, is you can type into your command bar, publish. If you don't know how to get this command bar up, so you can just start typing, what you want to type in is come down here to this command bar, type in DYN mode, press enter, set the value to three, press enter, and then you, you can do that as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to type in publish, press enter, and we're going to be brought up with this. So you're going to see here, you can set your sheet list and everything. You can switch, switch it to a PDF. In this case, you can also override things, so everything's kind of the same. But if I go and click on my layouts and everything, you can see that it's showing me everything that I already changed. So DWG to PDF, 36 by 24 inches, plot scale is 1 to 1. I can publish it in the background. Everything looks good. I click publish, and I'll be able to do the same thing that I did before. Save it to my file location that I need it to be at, and then I can go open it and adjust what I need to. 
but you can see here I can publish multiple layouts at once. Whereas previously I was publishing one layout at once, this way I can publish all my layouts at once and I can add different layouts as well if I need to. So go make sure that you have everything set to the way you need it. Click publish. Once that's done, you'll have everything where you need it to go and you'll be able to plot in AutoCAD. So guys, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.